Number 17. Explain why the total solubility of lead first decreases upon addition of I- to a solution of Pb2+, but then increases as more and more I- is added. Before we get to the actual answer to the question, we have to talk about some basic concepts first. The first of which is the common ion effect. So if CaSO4 solid is in equilibrium, then if Ca plus 2 concentration is increased by the addition of Ca2 plus from another source, then the concentration of SO4 2 minus must decrease so that the product remains constant. So the common ion effect in general says that a salt will be less soluble if one of its constituent ions is already present in the solution. The next concept we need to talk about is complex formation. It says that solubility increases due to the formation of complex ions. In our example, PBI plus, PBI3 minus, and PBI4 minus 2 are all examples of the complex ions. I minus is the ligand for the PB plus 2 ion. A ligand is any atom or group of atoms that is attached to the species of interest in the solution. PB2 plus is the Lewis acid because it can receive electrons from I minus, the Lewis base. And the product of those reactions is called an adduct. So now that we know more about complex formation, we get a look at the effects of complex formation on solubility. So if the reaction only caused PBI2 solid to form from PB2 plus and 2I minus, then the solubility of PB2 plus would always be low in the presence of excess amounts of I minus. But it's been found that high amounts of high concentrations of I minus cause PBI2 to dissolve which results in complex ion formations such as PbI3 minus. At high concentrations of I minus, the reaction is driven to the right by the Chatelier's principle, causing the total concentration of dissolved lead to be higher than that of just Pb2 plus by itself. So now that we know the basic principles behind what's going into this problem, we can actually come up with a good answer for it. So looking at our answer, at low concentrations of I minus ion, the solubility of lead is determined by the precipitation of the PbI2 solid out of solution. But as the concentration of I minus ion increases, the solubility of the lead decreases due to the common ion effect. So the concentration of the Pb2 plus decreases at first. But as more I minus is added and the concentration rises, PBI2 begins to react with I minus again to form other complex ions such as PBI4 minus 2. This graph from the analytical textbook shows our answer in graph form. Along the left axis is the log of the concentration of lead, and on the bottom is the, the log of the concentration of the iodide. The blue line shows as the I minus is added to the solution, the solubility of lead goes down and is governed by the common ion effect. Once it reaches a low point, the concentration of lead starts to increase and is governed mainly by the complex formation of ions. It is important to note the logarithmic scales on the graph. It is also important to note that in chemical equilibrium, all equilibria are satisfied simultaneously. So if the concentration of I- is known, then the concentration of Pb2 plus can be calculated by substituting that into the equilibrium constant expression. Therefore, if a concentration of Pb2 plus is known for one equilibrium, it must satisfy all equilibria for that solution because there can only be one concentration of Pb2 plus in a solution at a given time.